A young mother faced with a terrifying decision. Watch her baby get hurt or comply with a rapist's demands. That woman was raped around 6 o'clock last night on the South Hill near 53rd Avenue and Regal. That's where a man jumped out with a knife and threatened her and her baby. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live on 53rd tonight. Jeff, the attacker still on the loose? And Dave, no one is okay with that tonight, in part because this man had no qualms about using someone's baby as a bargaining chip, and he apparently picked his victim at random, patiently waiting in the woods you see behind me, waiting for the right target to walk along. The victim was less than a block from her home, pushing her young child along in a stroller. That's when a man stepped out of the darkness, holding a knife, and made his intentions known. She is approached by this guy that jumps out at her, startles her. He has a knife in his hand. He says, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt your baby if you don't, you know, comply with what I'm requesting. And so just a dozen yards from safety, just off in the brush, the 18 year old was sexually assaulted. It appears the baby remained in the stroller during the attack and was not harmed. The victim called 911 immediately after, but a tracking dog was not able to locate the suspect. People who live here in the Trestle Creek Apartments are very concerned about their safety, especially those with children. Well, my concern for her and my concern for myself, my safety, her safety. I don't like it at all. I didn't think that that's the kind of neighborhood we lived in. And it also makes me happy that the police were here and that it, it looks like they're trying to do something. But it is scary to know that I do live in this neighborhood. Meanwhile, police are worried their suspect might claim additional victims our shorter days extending his window of opportunity. Anybody that frequents that area, if they travel that area, if they live up in that area, I mean, there's a predator out there and he is willing to assault women. I mean, we have got to find him and put him behind bars. And detectives say despite the darkness, the victim was able to give them a good description of her attacker. He's a white man in his early 20s, about 5'8", with a thin but muscular build. He was wearing baggy jeans, and here's a unique identifier, a dark-colored checkered hoodie sweatshirt. The hood was over his head. If that description sounds familiar to you, call Crime Stoppers at 327-5111. Reporting live on the South Hill, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.